Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. First in the den is Dan Mugambi, an interior designer from Mombasa who wants to transform the spaces in which Kenyans live and work in. Hello, Lions. My name is Dan Mugambi. My assistant here is Gadoni Kagema. I am from Mombasa. I'm an interior designer, entrepreneur, and a painter. I am here seeking a 2 million shilling investment for 10% stake in my company. As an interior designer, I have had a lot of issues with clients asking me alternatives for focal point walls. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Wall Art 3D. Wall Art 3D is a, a dramatic alternative for, 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 for traditional flat walls with creative 3D designs. Most of it actually will give you a very, very, very luxurious feeling. This is a product that can work anywhere, can do exterior, can do interior. It can be painted in any color of your choice in terms of finishes. We feel the product has not yet been pushed enough into the market. Our, our marketing strategies are still very limited. Our goal is to go into manufacturing of the same, same products that we, 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 we consume. A short, sharp and precise pitch will our entrepreneur convince the Lions of the value of Wall Art 3D's business potential? This 2 million, what exactly is it for? Number one, we need to put up a showroom uh, where my, net, my biggest network is, which is Mombasa, to, to push a product more into the market, uh, rather. 2 million for 10% means you valued your company at 20. Yes. Last year, what were your sales? Okay, let me say this product we introduced into the market this year. Okay. Our normal interior design services, 2015, it was 3.67 million. Profit or revenue? That is turnover, sales, in terms of money that came into our system. In terms of profits, usually, we are usually at least 20 to 30 percent. Can I touch? Them? Yes, you can. Actually, I would love you to touch. There are two types. There is a PVC and there is a fiber plant, and there is actually wood. So, Minio, tell me, who are your... Top clients right now. My top clients at the moment are uh, architects and interior designers, because I actually that's where my focus is, so that I can move volumes. The two million yes. is for ten percent in your overall business, overall account, your uh, overall company, yes. of which the three D wall art is only one part of it. Yes. How much of your sales mm. are currently linked to this mm. product versus? Uh, so I can say approximately 20% uh, for now. You invested two million? No, I didn't invest two million. That was the, my initial budget when I was planning for this. So how much, did you, how much did you invest? I invested 500,000. And did all of that product sell? No. Sorry, let yes. me get that. You invested 500,000 in importing. Yes. Out of which you've used half of it to generate 1.6 million. No, sorry, sorry, maybe you didn't get me there, uh, there right. The sales up to this point are approximately 600,000. What's to stop me from going to Dubai and bringing this tomorrow? What's so special about your, your connection with the supplier? Is it exclusive? It's not exclusive, but um, there is always something to do with the first person who pioneers a uh, product into the market. The first people to do something are yes. the ones that normally burn yes. their fingers and everybody else benefits from the, <laughs> from the pain that they have gone I get, through. I get, but, but, uh, but if you, if you, I get, but I believe you followed my presentation very well. I think for me, um, I'm really interested in locally produced Kenyan brands. Um, the fact that this is imported and, and there's no real barrier to entry. I mean, somebody else could go and, yes. and bring the same stuff. At this stage of your business, um, I would not want to invest. I hope you get there soon. Okay. But for, for now, I'm out. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, I, I'm out. I don't know enough about this industry. Um, and I will not be able to add any strategic value. How do you apply this? This product is very, very light. It's made of PVC. So you, it, it's, it's, it's a glue-based uh, product. And then if it's so light and is it strong durability, if something bangs into it? Very, very good. So can I just test the durability of your product, if you don't mind? Sorry? Can I just test the durability yes, of your yes, product? Yes, 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 yes. Wanna... <laughs> There's holes coming through, I believe, huh? I hope he's gonna pay for this, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanna tell you where where I'm at, um, I think there's no real barrier to entry here. There's specialists in the market, people who do this day in, day out, like Talent Carpet Center and others. And if you don't have an exclusive tie-up, an agency, some kind of patent rights over this, I think it's gonna be very easy for somebody else to replicate this. 
So for that reason, I'm out. This eventually will be overtaken by Italian carpet in the next one year, I can guarantee. Mm. I think so for that reason, I think I'd rather back out and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. With four lions now out, all our entrepreneurs' hopes lie on Olive Gashara. So Dan, so I'm actually very interested in it, but your valuation is very off. Um, so I will make you an offer. 40% for 2 million shillings and you focus your attention on 3D wall art. Okay, let me ask something, sorry. Um, what will happen when I have clients, for example, who wants me to do other stuff? Then you can hire somebody to do that. But you as an entrepreneur and you as a person who's come up with this whole 3D thing, your focus has to be on your wall art. This, actually, for me, I understand that this product can be overtaken. I really understand that one. But now, you see, if I'm limited, for example, and I say that I, I now stop being an interior designer, uh, I'm only focusing on 3D wall art. And interior design is the one, is the mother of all this. And one of the, one of the other reasons why I brought this product is because of my own consumption in, in, uh, in my project and as well sell to make a markup and also now actually do it for my clients. So let me just stop you there because yes. I know where you're going. First of all, I cannot invest in you as an interior designer because that's not what you're here selling to me right now. Yeah. Um, so you can just make a decision. So deal or no deal? Yeah, exactly. You can just make a decision. No deal for me. I think 40% is much. Mother business for me is always the focus. This other product is actually something that is adding value into my company. So uh, I don't think I'll... I'm sorry, but um, I don't think I'll take the deal. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank sour, you. Sour. Thank you very much. Okay. Ah. Ah. This is one of the best experiences I've gotten. I, I hope that I can actually extend my research in terms of manufacturing here. Because I realized most of the people backed out because of the fact that I was importing. Yes, I was impressed by him. Yeah. If I was going to invest, I'd be investing in him and trusting he will still own 60%. He's going to grow this business and use whatever opportunities he can to grow it. And I think if you're going to tie his hands, I think, I, I think he was smart not to take your offer. They want me to sell rather than me in terms of consumption. And the opportunity I was getting, being given, I don't think they much. I'm way worse than that for me. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.